Hello everyone, welcome to another Summoner's War video review. And today I'll be reviewing the Water Lich. Um, he's his awakened form, but I haven't awakened him, so I'll list the pros and the cons and what his skills do. So, first, his pretty good basic stats and as you can see the skills are pretty much normal soul summoning decreases the attack speed for two turns with a 75 percent chance deadly touch is almost the same as the wind lich's attack but not but his passive isn't as good as the wind lich so the passive is the wind lich's passive is basically the best where you instantly generate a shield. This one grants immunity, which is okay for dungeons, good for dungeons actually, especially the fire dungeon when you are, when it keeps chucking in bombs or things that keep, that you need to debuff, so no worries. You can see that the Wind Lich is yeah, that guy, the Wind Lich. So as you can see, the Wind Lich has a... generates... a shield, just like... Rhino, or Reno. So overall, the... this, the... Water Lich isn't actually that good. It, the passive is okay, but not as good as the Water Liches. It, yeah, some people saying it's food. It's not all that good. Like, it is. It isn't the best Lich. It's just okay for the Fire Dungeon, and that's pretty much all I recommend it for. Bad attack and bad defense. It's extremely squishy, and there's pretty much 